golpes son ataque. Choquen guantes, pegan el mejor. Vamos. I'm going to look to counter punch. I know that, but sure to then decide which plan we need to enact once round two begins. Good left hand by Alvarez. Because if he don't, he doesn't want Alvarez to come at him full fledged. Alvarez, since he was 13. No, Citron's athletic. Alvarez's shots may land first. This is the 244th professional round for Alvarez. An outstanding wrestler, College of Technology, ranked 10th nationally. But the uncle, who he lived with in Reading. Roy, there's debate about the extent of Canelo's power. To me, it looks like he's heavy handed. What do you think of his power? I think he's very heavy handed. Then does Alvarez. So the earlier. When the first few times we've seen him, I was like, this kid is different because he's a Mexican who really can punch. Here you see Alvarez leaves with a good left hook to the forehead, well, to the temple. Then Citron comes back with that beautiful jab. Well, that's again, you see the hook, ooh, followed by a great right hand to the top of the head. With his land rate. He's going to land a lot more punches back to Centron's power. So he needs to land a good shot. You see that? Alvarez is all out with his shots because he doesn't respect Centron's power right now. It's a big shot to establish some respect. Alvarez goes to the body and backs up Cintron. It's not easy to really describe his style. He starts out boxing on the perimeter. He goes that made him back up and respect Cintron a little bit. Not respect when he's attacking. He's not attacking just all out with his hands anywhere like he was. As opposed to a boxer punch, he's taking a punch exactly. first. Exactly. But he's still saving that. Like that. Cintron has mentioned that now at junior middleweight, the struggle is not to make the weight, it's to keep it the weight on him. You can see it, a big, <laughs> thick guy for his height. Upper body. Cintron's power hand at home, right? My hand, you know, it was going to be some problems if it landed. Right. Once my hand he's throwing the light, it's not going to be any problems if it lands. No, he's just not committing to it anymore. He's committing to throwing more punches now. He tried to become a more of a boxer instead of a puncher. He used to sit down in right hands, and then guys used to sit down and lie down. You better believe it. See, like that. That's a good hook, but the hook was the better punch of the combination. And it's Alvarez applying the pressure, moving Cintron back. Good left hook inside. Caught Cintron. Right hand glances to the top of the head. The excellent punching power. There was no easy way to beat him. Boxing after dark, Canelo Alvarez, Kermit Cintron in round number three. Alvarez defending his victorious to win a portion of the junior lightweight belt live here in Cincinnati. He took care of Mark. Lands something like he means it. It looks as though, especially in light of recent performances, the Cintron that we used to know welterweight isn't here anymore. No, he's not because uh, he's letting Alvarez close the door now. He caught him with a good counter right hand over the top of the jab. Cintron outworked him, but Canelo did more damage. I mean, he's two to one, Canelo Alvarez. By the way, we're going to hear the official scores after round four. Cintron is fighting. Uh, he's really not doing enough right now. But though they kind of like we saw in his last fight, he's kind of waiting to wear Cintron down. You see him throwing a hook to the head, hook to the body there. He'll be able to hit Cintron. Can punch. He's very patient. Very, very patient. And he's using that left hook to the body very effectively here in this round. And Cintron's corner told him to go to the body. He hasn't gone to the body yet, but Alvarez is doing beautiful body work right here. Cintron's pumping out jabs. Lead right from Cintron, right hand, hurts Cintron, and down he goes. Ocho, nueve. Seventh time Cintron's been down in his career. Alvarez looking to finish it here in the fourth. That's a slip. That is not a knockdown. That's a slip. Cintron's going straight back, and that's why that right hand landed. Well, because he was such a powerful puncher, guys, guys didn't take a chance to counter his, his left jab much because they were afraid of the right hand. But now Alvarez has no fear of the right hand at all. Good so left. Counter the, the jab at wheel. And Cintron hurt at the end of the round as well. Blood coming from his nose. Another left hand has hurt Cintron.
Fuera, they used to call the top fuera, of the jab with a straight fuera, right hand. Fuera. This is what guys used to Cintron in front of him. See that right there? Anytime you can't get out of the air, but got counter your jab, you got bad problems. Centron's throwing hard shots back, but he he there let go. go. There's he, a combination. That's the Centron we used to look for. But, yeah, but, but then Centron he gets right. Yeah, and he looks he looks like he lacks coordination when he hits, gets hit with a shot. He's, first knockdown, he just looks like he's ready to fall. The problem he is does but, counter with a right but, hand though. He just keeps going straight back. And you can't get away from the right hand like that. Well, he just showed he has the like power that. to bother Alvarez. Will he go back to that power shot now? He has no other choice. He just, he seemed like a guy that's just out of it tonight. He doesn't really seem to be in it tonight. Well, at 32. And he doesn't seem to be on court tonight. At all. Alvarez digs in with some power shots. Alvarez must have shot a puncher. One of the fun things, too, though, about watching Alvarez, he gets hit just enough. Meanwhile, at this point in the fight, Citron seems to be throwing back in spite of himself. Just throw a ball, but it seems like he's dead tired, man. Yeah. Like he doesn't, he, he's almost surprised when he does land a punch and bother Alvarez. Yeah, he seems like he's dead tired. Like that. Good combination by Alvarez. And the referee, Hector Apu, has stopped it. Alvarez comes right back over the top of that same right hand that he's been smashing with all night long. There's another one. Straight right hand, right on the button. No way in the world Centron's going to keep taking that right hand. Oh, right here you see behind Centron's double jab right hand, hook straight right hand over the top again. Followed by a body shot and another right hand to the back of the head. And the ref has seen enough because of the way Centron was reacting hey, to it. Roy, how does Canelo hide that right hand? Why is he able to land it like that? Well, he's hiding it behind his left hook. He's throwing a left hook and turning his shoulder up very high so you can't see the right hand coming. He just wasn't ready to defend it over the top of his jab. See right there, he tried to turn, but he turned too late. And just time and time again, Alvarez was able to... And still, the undefeated WBC light middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo.